We here, big stepping year. <laughs> What's up? It is I, yet again, Drius, aka DJ Tie Zero. And uh, as you can see, we got some changes. Let me, um, I feel like the light is not good enough in here. One second. This should be a lot better. Well, to a degree, at least. This is not gonna be the permanent setup. This is not gonna be the permanent look. This is not gonna be the permanent sound. This is just something for right now because literally I am in my brand new office and you guys can see the office. Well, I do have a small clip. I guess I can show you guys that clip. So why not? Here's a bit of the clip that I do have of the office that I will be showing off properly once everything is put together. Right now, I set up my DJ stand stuff my photography stuff is on the other end. Behind me is some more stuff uh, that I need to organize and have extra stuff to be around with. So lot. It is a lot. <laughs> uh, come to find out, the speaker I have needs to have a Wi-Fi or else I can't play music on it. Go figure. How are you guys? How's your New Year's kicked off? Because I can tell you right now, my New Year's was not the greatest New Year's <laughs> I kicked off. <laughs> It got to a problem where I had to move all my equipment out of uh, my current job and I'm sitting there going, it ain't never had to get this far. There's a lot more to this information at hand, so it's, it's hard for me to really get into detail about it without making it into a whole nother story size video. But this purpose of this video today is just to talk about the big step, the big move, the 2023, the changes that's coming around this year, and what are my plans? I would like to get to know your guys' plans for this upcoming year. The big step for me is obviously not only getting the space, but just making the necessary adjustments and changes for me just to elevate my life. I don't see why I can't elevate my life with the things that I have, with the things that I'm doing, and I specifically got this space, not only because of the fact that I needed some place to, you know, to be creative, and this place is pretty big, I, I, you can see from the clip, um, but also because of the fact that I just need the place to be creative. I, I can't be creative anymore in my own uh, home. <laughs> I was just like, no, why all these things? So as of right now, yeah, I'm, I'm paying two rents. I'm paying the rent that I sleep at and I'm paying rent to be creative enough here at. And I, there was two options. I could chose this one. I could chose the smaller office uh, across the room from where I'm at. Uh, granted, I want to cut my prices. However, I want to do a carpet versus a hollow floor. I want to have this um, extra setup of room to deal with uh, DJing, or let's say if I want to have a few people come in here and vibe out, to come in here and vibe out, for whatever reason the case may be. Even photography, um, in case I have more than like two or three people, it makes it easier to have a bit more space to the people just to hang out instead of just being in a very cramped uh, area for that many people. Now, with the amount of stuff I have, there's a reason why I also say it's cramped up because realistically, if we're talking about the space alone, Five people, six people, it wasn't gonna hurt nobody in that space. But with the amount of stuff I have, because I have all my DJ equipment here um, and all my photography equipment here, the only thing I'm missing at this point is my music equipment, and that's only a few more extra pieces. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's that's really that's really what I'm shooting for for 2023 is just the elevation. Like I'm tired. Like at this point. This job that's supposed to make me into an assistant manager, I just feel like a regular employee working a nine to five job with less than minimum wage money. As I'm rambling and before I really get into some other things I want to get into for today, I want to hear from you guys. What's your 2023 plans? What what are some things that you want to uh, aim for and have better for yourself this following year? I know for sure I put myself in a rut. I, if I don't make um, a certain amount of money within two to three weeks, yeah, I'm gonna owe some, I'm gonna start owing some people. That's gonna take me a minute to get out of. Um, and you want to say, you know, why would I put myself in this situation? He's back.
better off losing than having a mom that doesn't think he can do it. Losing is good. Yeah, you're right. You shouldn't tell him what to do. You should tell him how you would do it and then let him decide how he will do it. Sometimes that's the only good thing. That's the part that fucks moms up. You don't want him to fall on his ass. The best thing that can happen to him is he falls on his ass. Even if he goes into debt? Of course. First of all, if you're telling him everything that he's doing wrong and he starts going into debt slowly, he's going to know that you are right and he's not gonna go as deep into debt as you think. Every second you're overprotecting him is more of him becoming a losing player. Debt is good for him. He has no other option. What, are you gonna overcoddle him to the grave? He's gonna end up being insecure because he's gonna think his mom never believed in him because he is seeing through your actions that you're overcoddling him, thus meaning you don't think he can do it. I did run off of a promise. I run off of a promise of, you know, I was gonna get this amount of money for my job, and I figured that, okay, if we're talking in a two months span, because practically speaking, we're about to hen enter into a month and a half um, after this week. So if we're talking two months span, it's like, all right, well, then two months then, I should be having set payment. And set payment seems like it's not going to be there right away. It's only an issue when usually the person makes it an issue, which I haven't yesterday. And I know I'm teasing this story, but <laughs> not gonna tell you guys right here, right now. We can talk about that at a different time. I'm also going to state that uh, if it wasn't for the owner uh, putting a good word in for me to the landlord that's you know providing me the space, I chances are I wouldn't have gotten the space anyway. So thank you, which is why <laughs> I don't say anything bad about the place I work at. So, this place will be used for photography 90% of the time. There's gonna be times I DJ in here, it won't be DJing to the point where like, I'm playing music for the masses or anything of that nature. I'm really gonna be in my headphones right here practicing and then making stuff up, um, you know, as time goes along and whatnot. Uh, and then also, because I have a 360 camera, it's covered right now, so it looks like, you know, nothing's, things. Nonetheless, because <laughs> I have one of these now, I actually have some ideas I want to create uh, dance content-wise. That way, you know, I can do some more, more and better dance videos for you guys utilizing this technology. Uh, this is really fun to use for the few times I have edited with it. Um, and I have posted some content already, and here's some right here to, to give a small example of what I've done so far. I ain't do nothing much. But just the fact that I can do that alone, I'm like, mm, I got some ideas. So I'm looking forward to all of that. Be very expecting of like these longer form formatted videos, uh, as opposed to just me so rambling and whatnot. And I will be getting to more uh, vlogging style, more, slightly more like, you know, the lesson I learned today or lessons I happened today. The lesson I learned the other day What's for sure, well, is going to be be assertive and keep my foot on the goddamn co concrete and don't let my motherfucking feet up. I know, guys, whatever. But yeah, don't, don't let your feet up. Like, if I state what my price is, it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is. <laughs> I'm not gonna move from that. Not only just prices, but just me in general. I'm not gonna move from who I am. Partial questions of the girl I'm talking to right now. <laughs> but nonetheless, you know, I like her. It's just, you know, I'm kidding. <laughs> but hey, personal stuff. I'm here with plans, and I will be doing, like I said, more of this dance content. Will be very strict to the YouTube shorts, um, Instagram shorts, TikTok shorts, etc., and whatnot, and so on. My music content, I will be currently working on that very shortly. Mainly just want to stabilize everything. I'm getting back on it. Trust and believe. Um, I don't believe I will be using this space to record my music, but we'll definitely be using the space a lot to sit here and edit, um, chill out, zone out, and do what I need to do, you know, with the content at hand. So definitely for me, this is new year and new pressure. I can't wait to like do stuff with you guys to vlog and you know make more memories the way I used to do it years ago. I'm bringing that back now. You know, I'm bringing it more with everything going on. And while I'm at it, 
can we do something about this weather? Because, um, yeah, this this is weird. Like, it's just got through like a blizzard last week, and now it's in its 50s. I'm in New York. Can you explain that to me? Don't get me wrong. Like, where I'm part, the part where I'm at in New York, ain't nothing was going on to where Buffalo is. Oh my God. Like, I am very glad I'm not in there. Oh. And my hometown just missed the amount of, you know, BS that Buffalo got. And I'm sure Canada and a lot of other places have very bad weather. Especially right, right now. Like, I'm hearing it's supposed to be raining and one side of the U.S. is getting a whole, like, winter storm while we having a whole warm front. I'm like, I can only just imagine what next week or the, the week or after is going to follow up with. Because honestly, I'm at a point where I'm just like, I just need to move down south and just completely stay warm. Because this, I'm fine with it being cold one season and it being hot the next season. But I don't like this, like, one week is cold, the next week is hot, the next week is cold again. Because my body just can't digest and handle all that bacteria and flu and cold and all the icky and dicky and, and too much. So yeah. That's all I wanted to discuss with you guys. I will be definitely making some content on my job too. Uh, actually starting after this video is up and over with. So thank you guys for tuning in this episode. And if you're still wondering why I have my coat and all my extra stuff on because this building is cold and I did not turn on the thermostat because I need to still talk to my landlord about NYSEG and see if I got to pay for anything electricity and gas wise. And you're probably wondering why I you know, contract. I'm sure I do. I don't worry about that I have and I, I do. And I mean, utilities included, but I'm not sure if that utility is included. So, eh, we'll see. Some people get fishy with stuff like that. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll definitely uh, definitely find out very soon. I actually contacted him before I made this video, and he hasn't yet to respond yet, so I'm sure he's busy. But, yeah, let's see what I can come up with in the next video. Until then, guys, peace out.